What's most amazing is that it survived at the bottom of, of the sea for a thousand years or whatever. But as they recreated it, they learned that the technology to do this existed. Watchmakers, it exists. It, they can do this. It just, not a lot of that stuff survived because it's so delicate. But this was at the bottom of the sea. Um, I, I think it's still fascinating. I mean, even a thousand years ago to be able to simulate that. So they did have that technology? Yeah, to to, just, to make gears and do all that stuff, they did. Um, I, if you look at, like Archimedes goes back even further than that, and some of the technology he came up with was, was wild. I mean, the Archimedes screw is still is still used as a way to like get water to flow backwards because it, it, it goes up up a screw. It's like a, a revolutionary thing. But he had he he was famous for creating all these crazy weapons, and one of his famous weapons was these giant mirrors that he used to like, to burn the the Roman fleet when they were. Sailing into, I think he was, I think he was from Sicily, was Archimedes. So th these ancient cultures, they're, they're just way more intelligent and, and than I think we give them credit for. You know, which goes back to, to the giants and the suppression. And if it's not, doesn't fit what we know about Egypt, then it's wrong and you're an idiot. But... Our ancestors were, were pretty resourceful. They made some cool stuff. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, back to Stonehenge, Machu Picchu, Easter Island, the pyramids, all that stuff, man. It's wild. It's like... Yeah, the Baalbek stone, they don't even know how they made that. That's, you know, it's like... What's the Baalbek stone? That's in Lebanon. There's They just found a third one not too long ago. The, I think the biggest one is called the Stone of the Pregnant Woman. And it's massive. Like you, it's just a, it, it's a big block and it's, it's dramatic looking because it's kind of laying in the ground at an angle. You can only get a sense of the scope if you see a person standing on it because they're like that tall. And they don't know how this was quarried because it's perfect. And it's, it's, it's the biggest megalith that we've ever found is this, this giant stone. They don't know what it was for. They don't know who built it or how they possibly could have done it. But then they found another stone and um, there's these megalithic structures all over the area that are huge stones. They don't know how to put them in place. And then they just found a third stone very recently that I think is bigger than the other ones. Something like 20 million pounds. Like unbelievable.